why don't we check it out? E United versus Rogue. And this one is just to keep going, just to stay alive. It is not a qualification match, but it is an elimination match. And you heard him say it on the desk the last time these two teams faced off, E United did not look their best and Rogue took the series from them. You're absolutely right. And the question is how how are they gonna fare this week? This has been a rogue team that has been, like Gibbs said, hot and cold. Yeah. And AJ when he is playing well is is you know in discussions for potentially the most talented player there is in North America when he's hitting his shots. But this season, you can't say that about him. He, he was struggling in a majority of the weeks. It came down to week five, and he finally figured it out. But can Rogue do it again, repeat what they did last season, or will the new kids on the block continue to experience success? Already down the pitch, oh, Kronovi couldn't grab the pass. It was fast and a really close angle for him to hit. The United would carry it away with Hoxer on point. Hoxer, so often the point man for this team on a United and see if he can put together a better performance than he had last. Yeah, he's a player. Bro. He's a player who can, oh, oh God, that's it. Rogue <laughs> scores. First goal belongs to Rogue. Yeah, I was just about to make a point, and then Kronovi's <laughs> like, no, nah, I'm just going to dunk this goal and do it all by myself. And Rolds has just got a little too complacent there. He had to challenge that ball earlier in the corner. Kronovi with a beautiful 50-50, and also a beautiful Fennec. It is quite pretty. Wonder getting chipped for a second, and Rolds takes the ball away from him. Birds chipping it away to Hoxer. Back down to Rogue territory, Hoxer fighting AJ for the ball. Ajax, oh, he wanted to go for it. He didn't really have the angle. Wonder already in the air. It's double commit by E United. AJ keeps it going. Kronovi's there. He sent it center. Maybe wanted it on target. Wonder was playing. Clean up his third man. I think he knew the net was open. Good speed from Rogue out of the midfield. Rolled is off the ceiling down to Ajax, and Wonder makes that save. Just barely getting back in time as well. It's still going. E United blocked. Again, what a defensive effort and hustle by Wonder. Keep the lead for Roke. That's, I was getting ready to, to expect the goal. I did not think Wonder was gonna be able to make the save there. Incredible composure. Good passing from Roke early too. Really finding each other in space. Kronovi staying with this, uses a little boost he had left to keep it going. Oh, and Roldes had pre-jumped, he was expecting an uh, work. Forward pass. So right now United struggling, but Hoxer's chasing Crow down. Oh, Jorby, look as Kronovi trying to run away. He yeah, couldn't. Uh, yeah, he just couldn't look run. <laughs> Hoxer sees it the whole way and he's chasing him like he's a rabbit caught like, get away by a from fox. Oh, that was great. And, and that whole play doesn't happen because Kronovi was so ready you to throw it down in midfield again. If Ho Hoxer, he had committed. Yeah. He had committed to that play. Kronovi just couldn't get out of the way. Another demo for E United. They're still having to play a lot of defense and have had some struggles cleaning up their own boost. Ooh. A little too strong of a touch from AJ. He gets back to it. Kronovi kept it going. Wonder around the corner. The United Territory, Oxer pitches it away to Roldis. Roldis straight on target. Double commit by Rogue. Up quickly again. Ajax cannot get it over to Hoxer, and it's boomed away by Rogue. So, I mean, really, Rogue have done a great job at possessing the ball. Their passes have been pretty clean. It just comes off of one headhunting play by Hoxer Ooh. that gives them this goal and almost. AJ off the backboard. He's so dangerous in that area of the pitch. We're seeing some extended pressure from Rogue. Roldes couldn't get the boost. Finally getting some in the corner. But United being held back. And they're having to dive for these. Kronovi just won the ball in the third. Wonders forced back. He was the last man. Ajax wins a challenge. Bought some time for AJ. Back to Kronovi. High off the backboard. A free look is AJ, and he rolls it right into Ajax. Still another shot blocked by Roldis. If you won. Kronovi's the last back. Gonna have to race to that one. Does have time. Long ball. Roldis lets it come to him. 
but Wonder bumps one out, ends up bumping AJ. That'll be slow, and he gets back to it. No one's back for E United. Hoxer able to turn around to get back to the ball. Hoxer was worried. He, he flicked his camera around. He was looking for that attacker coming in because the net was vulnerable. Now shot opportunity. Off the backboard. Oh, and couldn't put it over to Hoxer, but Hoxer still has the ball. Taken away again by Rogue. Solid defense. Oh, miss from Ajax, though. And a chance off the back wall. Is the shot good? No! It bounces off the inside of the post. Hoxer just stopped moving. He was waiting to see how that played out. Oh, man. Oh, overcommit. Chance. Hoxer doesn't need to touch it. Ajax's shot is too high. That was the best look EU United have had. That was it. Hoxer, he had a chance to read it off the backboard, didn't make it, and then that shot was just not on target. Rogue a couple times has overextended now, and neither one of those times United's been able to take advantage of it. And the last time these two teams faced each other, United put on 39 shots on net. There's Ooh. another one. AJ with the save. They had 39 shots on net. They only scored four goals. And it came off of incredible Rogue defensive performance that we're seeing again today. But that chance by Ajax, he may want it back. He may get one more. Pumps it across the backboard. Kronovi takes it away. Rolled his once one more, and it's taken away again. Straight in the hit. box. We got OT, James. Overtime in game one. And again, this is an elimination series. The loser of this does not have an extra life. They are out. The winner will go on to face Ghost for the final spot in North America. You do get four game lives his best of seven. That's about it. Hoxer over to Roltis. Great hustle from Roltis. Giving E United some much needed breathing room. Here coming is Ajax. The shot turned away by AJ. Well, he might have been able to sneak it through, but AJ saw him coming. Kronovi wins a challenge against Roltis in midair. Oh, that's a big miss from Wonder. Kronovi already on his way back. Has to play damage control. E United on the push still. But it's been really tough. Everything in front of the box has been Rogue's ball. But in good speed there from Wonder and then Kronovi to follow up. Another catch by Roltis, flips it over, but Kronovi's there. Back over to Wonder. Rogue marched down to E United territory again, and Roltis sends him packing back against the back wall. So just Ooh. a lot of pressure from E United given from the space from Rogue, but they can't find any leeway on the back wall or the backboard, and they've been testing it all game long. And that backboard, we've seen even Ghost last series, just how long that defense can last in oh! Boxer! <laughs> it doesn't last forever. Nothing ever does, and Hoxer made sure that this Ghost defense oh. experienced the end of this game with that shot. That is, that right there shows you how versatile a flip reset is and you don't need to get it it's just the threat of the flip reset and he makes the entire defense look silly that was disgusting goes under the gets under the ball looks like he has all four wheels on it first defender commits hoxer's like cool see ya i'm going down to the ground and then just doesn't need to touch it just stay with it he's oh. he stayed with it get behind the ball and just keep forcing it through and e united they it looked like rogue was going to be able to get this when they looked like they had you know, a majority of the possession, but e United, they even had missed opportunities on counterattacks, but that final play, that was all e United. Yeah, and, and Hoxer, the, the man to set that up. And I mean, e United, there was a couple of opportunities where Rogue could have been on a dangerous transition, but on specifically two occasions, it was Ajax one time and then rolled as another that just picked the ball off almost out of nowhere. Yeah, that came it, off the sidewall, surprising Rogue, and took the ball away. Even at the end, I think there was, I couldn't tell if it was Hoxer or Ajax, but just coming down from the ceiling and getting that challenge, keeping the ball in Rogue's half to prevent AJ from getting the clear, there were some some good moments there where they, they weren't necessarily shots, but just shutting down Rogue's attempt at counterattacking and that paid off for United in the end. Yeah, and that's and that's how United want to play. They they all season have been positioned in the offensive half and the offensive third, almost more than any other team in and the Ho league. And Hoxer is the guy who spends the most time deep downfield for E United. So E United take the first against Rogue, who marched back into the playoffs with an incredible Week Five line of two.
two wins, taking down NRG on top of it. Here's AJ. AJ scores! Carrying it right into E United's net. And AJ had almost no boost to work with at the end here. Had to just use it perfectly. And Ajax gets suckered in. And AJ gets it by him. That is exactly what Rogue need. Th this is... This is the guy that has to be on. He is their striker. If he's not scoring goals, Rogue don't win games. Ajax turned away by AJ. And when it's not AJ, it has to be Kronovi, but Kronovi spends the most time as the, la the last defender, as the third man. And we've seen him Rogue. in a couple situations where he was left all alone. You think back to last game, where he gets demoed as the last defender. And that was one goal that made a big difference. Rogue with possession, that shot turned to the side. Oh, good first touch from Wonder back to Kronovi. This is beautifully executed by Rogue. And this pass, Kronovi to Wonder. Wonder back over to Kronovi. That ball might have been going in, but Kronovi just secures it anyway. And hesitation on the line from E United. I thought someone was going to be there to challenge Wonder on the potential pass. But there was nobody there. They both sat on the line, maybe expecting Wonder to shoot the ball. Great use of the option by Wonder. But here is E United. Hoxer puts one in off the pass from Roldan. And this is just what Hoxer does. He's upfield. He's waiting for the pass from his teammates. And he goes for these redirects right here. That shot right underneath the crossbar. A thing of beauty. And it's always Roldis setting him up. He is that guy in midfield to give those balls to Hoxer. Ajax, for the most part this season, has been a reliable third man for E United, allowing Roldis and Hoxer to do well against defenses. But that shot from AJ trying to slow it down, and then blocked again. Yeah, I think it, I think AJ's main concern there was making sure the shot's low enough. It was low enough, but he just didn't strike it with enough authority to really be a threat. This is a man advantage situation for Hoxer. Could not go under the defender, now headed the other way. Wonder, on point for Rogue. Kronovi on the rotation, keeps it going in front of the box. Rolt is in front for E United, clears the way. Back to Rogue territory. I love that little touch from Kronovi, just a slight touch to keep that ball rolling back so they can get possession, but that challenge is going to send it back and a miss. Tough for Ajax to get back to that ball, and that first touch just sends it out flying a little too fast. Now that first touch is what's so critical. You get a quality one, you set yourself up for goals. Oh, speaking of quality, it was a quality pass to Roldes from Hoxer. Ajax finding the dunk against AJ. E United. Waiting for that first hit. Roll does his touch. Will put E United back on defense. E United still searching for this tying goal. They've been able to grab a lot of balls, win some challenges in midfield, but as far as the offense goes, it's been really tough to find any kind of consistent possession. Rolt is another pass. He's got Hoxer looking for maybe Ajax on the wing, but he'll take it himself off the back wall and handled well by Wonder. And I, I, go ahead. Rolled is missed that ball to keep possession. They looked like they were doing a good job. Now on the other end, AJ almost taking advantage, but there was that brief stint where United, some quality possession, but Rolled is just needed to be a little cleaner at his midfield defense. Back to the opposite side, Hoxer will at least get it down to midfield, but it's Kronovi's ball. Back down to Wonder, Wonder shot. Ajax was flying in air that whole time, just trying to line up where Wonder was going for that ball. Ooh. And he got behind it. And a smart play from Wonder to take out Roldiz. It's open. Roldiz on the respawn, can't get back. Big physical play. Taking Roldiz out, AJ has a free look at the net. Wonder was so smart there, Jorby, that as that play was evolving, Hoxer gets a flip reset, push the ball into the corner. And then they're trying to get the ball out to the middle. As soon as Wonder recognizes that Rold is the last defender back, he's the guy who will be in the middle taking the shot. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wonder power on this shot off of Kronovi's pass. Gets it right on his nose. And even though there was a touch, it doesn't matter so much so, power. So Wonder having a great game. Not only does he get that demo in the previous goal, Getting this quick shot off kickoff, Wonder 
making it happen. Rogue, a commanding 4-1 to one lead. Late in game two. And you wonder, even earlier on defense, something he struggled with this season is his, is his defensive backboard and backwall reads. He's had a couple of key missed touches in a lot of Rogue series this season. And in this series so far, Wonder has looked solid. He certainly has, not only on defense, but helping out with the offense, getting those aggressive plays. Now getting this clear downfield to AJ. There are good cutoffs from E-United. There, there are some good ideas brewing with this team, and they're able to execute on a few of them. But Rogue, Kronovi getting another demo. This one high off the back wall. No one can come for E-United. They have to wait for this shot. And luckily for Ajax, he went right in front of his car. Oh, a miss there from Rold as he's been a bit shaky on defense. Net's still vulnerable. And Oxer can't get back in time. Kurnovi's car just slowed him down. He had to drive right through it. And it's a hattie for AJ. He's had two easy, what feels like easy goals for him well, off that, these demos. And that's not as easy as it looks. Getting no. that, that first touch of such quality, that's not as easy as it looks. He makes it look easy. But it's not. Well done from AJ under pressure, getting that good first touch and the follow-up shot. If you can't find a road to the net, pave your own. Rogue have subscribed to that theory in game number two, and it has netted them a five to one game two scoreline, and likely the game end line. E United, they got some kinks to work out heading into game number three. But Rogue looking strong. Hoxer will pick up one for the road, but that will be it for game two. And that's the way you want to end it, at least if you're E-United. Quality passing play from Rold is over to Hoxer. But overall, this game was lopsided in favor of Rogue. Yeah, a absolutely. I mean, AJ really stepped up in this game. And I'm not going to say it was all him, because two of his goals came off of crucial demos. One from Wonder, the other from Kronovi to just really put this game out of reach. And, and I'm really impressed with, that's that's what Rogue wants to do, right? We, we've heard them say it time and again this season. The, the communication has always been number and, one. And their positioning, you know? Yeah. Always, always being right next to each other instead of spreading out. And we're not really seeing that from Rogue right now. We saw Wonder split off, go for that demo on Roll Diz, open up the backfield. And overall, Rogue keeping quality possession. They have looked good. They have looked good, but United still in this, they got the first win. This game, it definitely seemed like they took a step backwards. But, uh, you know, if you're Rogue, you're happy with that game. You're happy with that performance. Man, it just has to continue. I mean, it, something e United are still kind of catching themselves in is they have the, I'll call it the G2 problem in that they're, they're a little too over, over aggressive. It's like, yeah, you're stealing all of that boost, but all of you are so far pushed up and it's creating these interesting situations where now you have to pass it in traffic to try to keep uh, the play alive and then it's blows by your third and, man and we got to race know, back I think, to try to I get think that can work save. though. I think that potentially can work. You leave people upfield. It's been working for Hoxer yeah. who's been upfield getting those redirects. To me, a big uh, detriment for E United has been Roldis's defense. We've seen a couple times where he just hasn't made the hit. And you can't you can't let that happen. And once you miss that hit, you you convert an opportunity from where you could be attacking, generating shots, generating chances to now you're on defense. You're using up your boost to get back and to keep shots out of net. And it just is, it, it's such a detriment when you can't get those defensive touches. So we'll see if he can clean it up on offense. That one hitting off the post. That was such a good pass from Hoxer. He teed that straight down and then they still almost found the lane to score that goal. He slipped it by both defenders, just hit the post instead with a tight angle. Even there, rolled is jumping up for that, used up a lot of boost, still managed to get the corner boost and now on the offensive. This is good for E United. Rolt is taking this ball away. He caught Rogue kind of flat footed on the line. Hoxer will keep it going, see if E United can capitalize on this shot from Hoxer. <laughs> Hoxer from the corner. First goal belongs to E United. And, and it's tough to tell if this ball was going in. It hits off the crossbar and might have been going out. No, it looks like it was going to be going in. What a shot it was from Hoxer. Man. And he forced Wonder to, to dive at that ball. Wonder had no chance. Yeah, and Hoxer is the AJ of this team, if you will. Wonder shots in. Forget it. It doesn't matter. Rogue tie it up. An immediate response right off kickoff. A nightmare of a kickoff. 
You don't want that thing blasting in your own half at the speed of light. Kronovi helping that ball along, getting it out to Wonder. And he has been getting a ton of assists in this series so far. Actually, I think I missed one, but I think he has four. I think he has four assists in this series, and it's only game three. He has been dishing out passes for his team, and that's where you want Kronovi. He's a reliable third man, but you want him handing those passes out because he is so good at putting the ball where he wants it. One of the best players in the league at, at hitting the ball with intent when he's given the space to do so. Especially just being unpredictable. Yeah. Well, the United midfield. Here's Hoxer. Couldn't get back down to his own touch. AJ's downfield. He's just going to go head hunt for Kronovi. He does get one. Kronovi got blocked on the play. Wonders touch will be Ajax's ball. And AJ will use everything he has to keep this ball high in midfield. It won't do much for Rogue besides keep it out of their own end. Oxer, high touch. Turned away again. Again, Rogue's backboard defense has been really tough to break through. And all of the goals from E United haven't come off the backboard. They've come off of passes, infield passes, or a pass downfield to Hoxer. The Rogue really making it tough, forcing E United to be creative on offense. They certainly are, the defense holding up. But for how long? Wonderlast back, getting harassed. Hoxer shot towards net, making AJ stretch for it. Ooh, Ajax, he got under it, finds the dunk, still hanging in front of the box. And Kronovi will pull off the ball for Wonder. Rolled is, keeps the pressure up. Chips Wonder out of the way. Ajax racing around, and it's taken away by Kronovi. Kronovi losing the challenge against Hoxer. But it's going to be slow follow-up from E United on the play. Pass to Rolled is, shot blocked again by AJ. And the right idea from E United. They've been drowning out Rogue. Rogue has been struggling to get any boost. Now Ajax racing to it. He'll have a shot, goes behind Wonder. And that boost starving eventually pays off. You even see the bump coming out on Crow. Wonder finally getting boost, but he uses it to overshoot. And Ajax recognized it. He saw the whole net. He sees Wonder coming. And as soon as Wonder hit the boost button, as soon as he hit the boost, Ajax is like backside. This is it. Great goal from Ajax, who himself had a standout week five performance getting involved on the offense. And he does now in game number three. Downfield, looking for the goal is Kronovi. Save from Hoxer, quick pass on the transition. He united the ball straight back to him. The shot goes in for Roltis. This kind of limped into the net, but it's good. <laughs> you said it, it limped in. AJ just misses that, tries to recover, couldn't do it. It looks like Wonder might have even gotten in his way. Wonder couldn't make the save. And E United, late. They're starting to take it to Rogue. Rogue just struggling to keep up with the speed. We're seeing boost has been a real problem for Rogue this game. And Rogue haven't had, and because of that, Rogue haven't had any space to work with like they did in game number two. But they were able to score five against E United. Pitched up high. Wonder just misses by pixels. Kronovi too late to the ball, and Ajax will take the back down to Rogue territory. Still time left for Rogue, but every ball, AJ on that last one just kind of carries it out. The challenge just knocks it away. No one from Rogue can follow up. And now United looking for long passes down the field. The ball finding a good amount of hang time before any player meets it. Pass towards the middle and then taken away by Hoxer, heads up play. It's a good backboard pass. And well challenged by Ajax. 35 seconds for Rogue, Wonder looking for AJ and it's a double commit but a massive clear for E United, Kronovi. Oh, the ball got away from him there. He does get a piece of it. Rogue forced to play more defense which just wastes more time on the clock. Rogue again, good breaking out of their own defensive half, but once they get on offense, they don't really have much that they can do. No one willing to commit as that second man when they get on the E-United pitch, and 
Time expires in game number three. E United, they have series lead against Rogue as Rogue picks up one for the Rogue. And they certainly answered the call here in this game. They they just dealt with Rogue. Rogue getting caught, stuck in their own half, boost stealing coming out, good pressure, the passes were there. Rogue just couldn't cope. Not at all. And again, I just, these long passes, these long quick passes down the pitch, Rogue were getting caught in, in positions where they weren't ready for it. The, the low boost certainly hurt them in a lot of those situations. So many games come down to that, and, and it did for this game as well. I mean, Rogue, they had a couple of chances that I looked at in midfield. It's like, okay, this was a good pass. You guys really broke out here, and then I'm waiting for the second man to come, and both players are sitting beyond midfield. And it's like, okay, Rogue, what's going on? And they're not winning the midfield boost battle. And that's going to kill you. And even when you're not able to get your own corner boost, there was a lot of time I was watching Wonder. It seemed like almost a minute where he had just nothing, nothing in the tank. And you, and that's not sustainable. That's It's just you can't play Rocket League without boost. So a really good job from E United, keeping them down, keeping the pressure on. And it looks like they're starting to figure out this rogue team. Yeah, I, I think that this, this, this series is still way out to to really call either way. I think we saw E United come out pretty strong in, in game number one and then really flounder. If Rogue can find a little bit of space, it, it feels like they need a little bit of momentum. And so if they can start off the kickoff strong rather than responding to a goal that they got scored on quickly, if they can be the first to score, I think that'll give a lot more confidence moving they, down the and, and also if Hoxer's making more shots like like he was. Oh my gosh. Those are tough. I mean, we saw, we saw the impact a single player can make. Looking at Atomic in the last series, Ghost, obviously they came up short. But Hoxer, what an individual effort that was. And he continues to put those shots on display. Can it continue for Hoxer and the rest of E United? Or will AJ put one in? Oh, he got bumped on the potential double tap. Kronovi slips under Roll Diz. And shot is good from Wonder. Rogue kick off things with a bang in game four. 10 seconds in. Wonder puts that one across. And you see Roll Diz missing oh, yeah. that hit. Roll Diz needs to make those plays. It was a tough situation, but they were relying on him to get that hit. He wasn't able to get that stop. Yeah, and you talked about it earlier. Roltes' defense has been suspect at times. He's got to clean it up for E United. This is a long series. Rogue have the lead, and Ajax oh bounces it down off the backboard. Boxer staying close to the ball. Kronovi couldn't get a read on where exactly the ball was going to go for Hoxer. Ajax fighting AJ for the ball. Ajax will win the bout. But it's a double commit by E United, forcing Hoxer back to now keep it close and buy his team time. Roltes does get back. Now you're seeing Rogue. They do have a little bit of space. See if they can utilize it to their advantage. They do here off the pass from Kronovi. High, taken away by Hoxer, over to Roll Diz. Ajax already downfield. Wonder cuts off the pass. And Wonder used up a lot of boost right there to get the hit off the side. Wasn't really doing much, but does get a good recovery now. Ala to Kronovi. Solid touch from Crow too. He didn't have any boost in the tank. That was really the, the best option that he had in the field there. It puts Rogue on offense. Kronovi here again. Midfield back over to Wonder. Wonder lets it get away from him. He was low on boost. 100% empty. Ooh. Now we saw Crow and AJ run into each other as well. So AJ needs to get a good hit. Ajax working with low boost himself. Hoxer is shot. Blocked by Kronovi. Ajax picks this up off the ceiling. And it's going to be low off the backboard. Still United on the press. AJ up. Dunked by Hoxer. Roltis is up for this. Can't get a shot on net. Kronovi demoed. He's out of the play. Hoxer, another to beat. Can he do it? No. Rogue hanging on to this one goal lead. And this is what we saw last game. No double commit coming out. AJ does get the clear. But the boost starving is doing damage to Rogue as they are running on fumes trying to make these stops. Hit up for AJ. He does get back to his own ball. United, another double commit. And Ajax is forced back to make a touch, and that shot is going to be wide out. Maybe looking for a pass along the back wall. Either way, it wasn't any good. And 
Ajax will boom it downfield. It's an open net for Hoxer. That's a goal for E United. And Hoxer again camping upfield. And Ajax, that one was such a good pass. He manages to prevent hitting the ceiling. If he hits the ceiling, it's going to bounce down and in front of net. But he gets it right out to Hoxer, an incredible pass from Ajax. And where was the third man for Rogue? You saw Crow and AJ both in the offensive corner. AJ trying to send it over to Kronovi in the corner. And Wonder's nowhere to be found. So he united. Big goal, AJ shot turned away. Wonder gets behind this. Kronovi. Just working edge to edge in E United territory off the ceiling. AJ has nothing in a great clear from Roldis. Demo on top of it for Hoxer. Hoxer again opted to go for the opted to go for the shot there instead of a pass. Roldis was there in the middle. I mean, the, the kind of shots Hoxer has been hitting, you can kind of understand why he's sort of going, why he's just going for the shot, if you will. He's been. Hitting some good ones. Good pass, and the shot is saved by Kronovi, but Rogue All three of Rogue is in the net. And AJ will clear it away. At that moment, all three Rogue defenders were, were in net. And that is just a testament to how good of a job E United has been doing to keeping them down. Oh! oh! <laughs> Hoxer! Again and again! Coming through clutch for E United! Look at this touch! <laughs> Oh, that is gorgeous. You take that video, get a video picture frame, and frame it. Just and that. put it on your bed stand. <laughs> that is as good as it gets. Oh, uh, top ten moments when you know that you're you're screwed. Is that that moment? Hoxer, Hoxer oh. touches the ball, man. Oh. And that was so hard. He had to get on the opposite side. I didn't side. think he had it. Yeah. I didn't think he had it because. He had to make a pretty significant adjustment in the air. Yeah. It was not an easy adjustment. You could even, if you go back and look at that, it oh. almost looked like he was flailing. Oh, wait. Okay, World has got there. Still dangerous for Rogue. Sorry, James. Go But for no, it. it was just a very quick adjustment, to completely turning upside down, using the boost perfectly to get on the right trajectory. And that shot saved. And this isn't over yet. Rogue, as we've seen, already a few chances where they've come close. And another one slips by one defender, but the close defensive rotation from E-United. It holds for them this time. Rogue running out of time. Kronovi fighting against one. Now AJ back to Crow. Crow off the back wall. Does he have it? No, huge clear down the pitch for E-United. It bounces off the wall. Can Rogue keep it in the air? They won't. And E United one game away from eliminating Rogue. And what a performance from Hoxer. Two goals in this one. Ajax getting that first assist to him, but then that double tap. That's it. Is that was the difference. <laughs> that was absolutely filthy. I, I, that double tap. If we could see it again at some point, just because the Oh uh, well, I think Jarby, this is it right here. I think this is it. It's beautiful. And look at how big of an adjustment he has to make in here. He goes upside down and goes back down and just slams. And it. hits it right on his nose too. That last, that final frame. He, like he doesn't just get the ball into the, he doesn't just hit the ball, he hits it with power. Right there, you see that boost right there. Oh, getting up over the ball. That is perfect. That was a perfect double tap. I, I was. You dream yeah. about hitting a shot like that. Oh, it's funny because like it, it was when you were talking and I'm watching Hoxer fly towards this and I'm like, there's no way he actually finds the net on that. And then like I see the ball just go. Yeah, it was when, it was, was when he was like right here. He yeah. was in the air. He the ball's coming up. He needed to get the height. So he just goes straight up that way, then readjusts. Yeah. That that was because most of the time when you see the double taps, it's a lot of just maintaining your speed on the trajectory that you're at, using the boost, getting there, making those adjustments, it's so difficult, especially in those split seconds. And he just did it perfectly. And that was the shot that got him the win and gets them one step closer to potentially a world championship berth. Now, and it's not over yet. They still have to do another series after this. So what's it gotta be for Rogue? They've had some good possessions. They've had some good pressure. Their passes are pretty decent. I don't think, I'm not gonna say Rogue are playing poorly because I don't think that they are. Well, we've seen just a, a few situations where they just overcommit. They're out of position. They're too far downfield. And we see Hawks are upfield 
when Rogue is not home and punishes them. Both of the goals were from Hoxer, and one of them was just after, you know, Ajax gets a really solid clear off the back wall, right to Hoxer. Well, can this team of rookies take down a veteran in Kronovi, AJ, and Wonder to move on in this playoff bracket? Wonder kicks it up high. Hoxer, pass to Ajax, back to Roldiz. Kronovi sends it to the side. Ajax, light shot on net, turned away by AJ. Oh, Wonder getting bumped by Kronovi. Does put him on the back wall. And finds a second touch, made it difficult for Ajax. Rogue having to play a lot of defense, but they do finally get back to e United territory. And the desk talked about it. Kronovi? Okay. The desk talked about it. The series that they were birds at the time, that they played Rogue, that was maybe the worst that they had looked all season. And they could, they certainly oh. have figured it out. AJ, he was also a player for Rogue that you were expecting to do wonders, but he just struggled to show up week in and week out. Week five, he was amazing, and now they need him more than ever. Rogue is one game away from their season being over, and that oh. shot off of the pass from AJ. This is a great pass from AJ. Starts it from his own ceiling, and that catch, that is, that, that catch is not easy. That's ridiculous. He was on the ceiling That's, just a moment ago. The ball was going, like, almost supersonic itself, and he's like, I don't care. Check his car for pine tar. Yeah, like, come on, man. It's like, uh, you know, the old football players that dip their hand, their gloves in, I forget pine what they tar. call it, it's sticky, sticky stuff or it's whatever. It's pine tar. Is it pine tar? <laughs> yes. All right. I don't think that's what they called it, but. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe the, the substance might, was pine Might be a baseball tar. thing. AJ's got it on the hood of his octane, so. But yeah, they, they need that from AJ. And the one game in the series that Rogue ran away with was one that came out of a physical play in opening lanes for AJ to score. Now he's got another opportunity. Couldn't get that flick. But again, you know, my point is another shot turned away is that Rogue haven't really found that physical play that they had in game two. And the result has been E United winning every game since. They certainly have really turned a corner. And now another infield pass. Kronovi with a good challenge getting back in time. I'm not talking about Rogue's passing, but E United's passing. They're finding each other in space, and they're always looking for each other. Sands maybe Hawkster. Here's AJ puts it in for Rogue. Enough about E United. AJ gets his second. AJ, he is that star player. Gets the dunk quickly around the ball, and just handles matters himself. He was a, a part of the first goal, passing it over to Kronovi. Now getting that challenge solo play. That is exactly what the doctor ordered for Rogue. Wonder almost scoring on the flick. Another shot is blocked and it pinched against the crossbar. So here comes Hoxer. It's good. And he United are right back in. And the same thing keeps ha happening to Rogue. They're just too close to the ball. And that one was just an incredible save. Not only a save, it pinches right out for Hoxer. It pops straight up and out. So thing that that went a little fortunate, I would say. Definitely. A little went, it went fortunately for Hoxer and for E United. Well, e United. But it was still an incredible effort even to get that save from Ajax. Uh, yeah, Ajax had that pinch. That pinch doesn't happen. It's probably not an open net. So absolutely credit to Ajax on the defensive effort. It puts E United within one. And they find themselves on offense. They gotta be careful. Double commit now gives AJ the ball and he saw daylight. And he had Kronovi over to the left side, but instead he was aiming for the backboard. Too light of a ball, rolled his, trying to create some space. Hoxer can't find the challenge. Ajax buys a little bit of time, but time's now out. Here's AJ, shot not gonna happen. Well, that was the right play from Kronovi. It was just that AJ had zero boost. Couldn't really get up over the ball, flip into it. Ooh, the missed touch will send the United back to their own wall. AJ missing on the read, but Kronovi right there behind him. Now Kronovi takes the ball away, giving a, AJ a chance. A minute left. Rogue on their last life, on tournament life, for a chance at Madrid. This is the life of their season on the line, Torby. Taken away by Kronovi, they gotta hang on to this lead. They had an incredible week five just to sneak into the playoffs. 
And sneaking in is not an understatement. That's exactly what they did. Here's a shot blocked again. Kronovi has the catch. Roldiz takes it away from him. Roldiz wants to end this now. That off the back wall taken away. Rogue's defense holds firm. 30 more seconds. They have to chew off the clock. Oh, another touch from Hawkster to take it away from Rogue. AJ. Big win. For Ajax. But the challenge knocks the ball away for E United. Rolt is getting back and just beating the attacker to the ball. Ajax has control. He flips it over one. Kronovi can't get a solid clear out. Hoxter sends it in front of the box. AJ turns it away. Still in the corner. It drops to the ground. No, it doesn't. E United take the ball off the ramp, but Rogue are going to make their life difficult here off the backboard. Can't make the touch. Rogue will walk away. We'll say that. They'll walk, they'll away, walk away and they'll stay alive. Oof. That was their season on the line, a one goal game. It got a little hairy at the end there as well. I, I honestly thought that for that next touch from Hoxer, I'm like, they're gonna, Rogue's gonna miss touch this on their own back wall, but AJ caught it again. And to me, the MVP of this game is AJ. He had that pass to Kronovi to start it out. And then this play. Coming off the back wall, he gets the dunk, comes off the back wall, and just stuffs it in. Rolled this, was trying to dribble this ball out. And that can be dangerous. That can be dangerous trying to dribble it, especially in your own half. You have to have the vision on where those people are so they don't come in and just bang the ball off your hood. That's exactly what happened to him. And AJ making an impact. We said he needed to step up. He was the star player, or he is the star player for Rogue. We know that he has it in him. But there have been times where Rogue, as in, in general, has just been inconsistent. But now they answer this call, they keep the series going, but they still need to get two more wins. E United is on match point. And E United, they need to find more quality shots on net. They had nine shots in that game, but Rogue only had four saves. So they, Rogue didn't have to work for some of those, but the work really came off of preventing shots because E United are still trying to test this backboard. It's not working. They, they've gotten it one time, and that was that Hawkser double tap. That's it. And then even their, the one goal they got this past game was off a great save from Ajax, but it pinched right out to Hawkser. And you know that Hawkser is waiting for that clear up field. That is where he's comfortable. He's waiting there, looking for those outlet passes, looking for those clears off the backboard from his teammates. And he has been doing damage. A rogue started a journey trying to come back from three to one down in the series. It's now three to two. See if they can tie the series up. Shot for me, United. That was Ajax behind it, blocked by AJ. Some space here for E United. Questionable from Hoxer to pitch the ball up like that. Maybe waiting for his team to get back on point, and the pass to Ajax is good. Rolled is on the pass. And when you hit it up like that, a lot of times you're just trying to use up all the boosts from your enemy. Try to make them go up on the backboard, and this shot, 85 miles an hour. That was a zinger. It was pretty uh, pretty fast. And, and that's what you do. You keep wearing out the defense, make them use up the boost, and then you look for a teammate who's in the middle, because when they're low on boost, they're not gonna creep out a net too far. And E United, a hot start to what could be the final game in the series. This is probably the best we've seen E United play all season. Too. I would agree. They, they have looked super solid overall. And, and credit to Rogue as well. Kornovi just misses, and Roltis makes another save. AJ tries to keep it going. Somehow Kornovi didn't score, and the ball stays out of the net. The Rogue, a chance to tie the game. They came away empty, E United with Hoxer back on offense. That'd be hard to get offense going with a boomer like that. High pass to Roldis, he was looking for Ajax, that's a huge whiff. Ajax wins the ball cleanly, but there's just nothing for Hoxer to go for, so he waits for this touch. Keeps E United out of their own territory. We'll see if Rogue can start gathering boost to get up and counterattack. We've seen them get stuck. That oh. shot! Oh, Ajax! It's been Hoxer for most of this series, but in this game, it's Ajax from Roltis again! Oh, right from the boost pad in the corner. Oh. It looked like a defender got a piece of the ball, but not enough to get it out of the net. Right off of his corner again. Ajax 
He's got the target locked in. Two to nothing, E United. Wonder, flick over to AJ, it's just too fast. And rolls his quick turnaround. Kronovi, the pass is denied by Ajax. And AJ probably wanted to kill that ball, keep it on the ground, but it pops up. It's tough for him to deal with. And Rolta sends it high again, forcing Rogan into these awkward situations defensively. Their positioning just hasn't been the best in terms of dealing with the touches that United have been giving them. AJ tried the ground to air dribble. It's a great block. Another transition. 3v1. Pitched. Rolled it. Ooh, almost found it with the butt of his Dominus. Kronovi. He's got a demo to open up some space. He's over one. Oh, he almost gets back to it. Hoxer makes the save. And an excellent stand from Kronovi right there. It was a 3v1 situation, and he turned it into a counterattack. But time is running out for Rogue. Their season at risk. Just two minutes left, down by two. And these passes in front of the box, they've been turned away every time. Rogue keep trying to pepper this net. Kronovi under one. He's got another to beat. Looks for a pass towards the middle and Hoxer. What a defensive effort to block the pass from Kronovi. And now Roltes moves down the pitch off the back wall. Sends it up. But Ajax is back and it was behind Hoxer. Hoxer was just a bit too close. It was a good pass, but had to double back. Now Wonder's going to beat him to it. Oh, and ready for it was Ajax on the back wall. He united. Can they keep this two-goal lead? Another shot blocked. Rogue starting to find some consistent opportunities. Ajax uses everything he has in the tank to clear this ball away. AJ can't turn it away. Hoxer is right there. E United really taking it to Rogue right now. Off the backboard. Rolls is can't make the shot. It's turned away by Wonder. AJ back down the pitch over to Kronovi, but nothing. Midfield does not belong to Rogue. Kronovi against the corner. He gets back to AJ. The shot right into Hoxer. Nothing for Rogue. They have tried again and again at this net. The passes have been good. The shots have been decent, but they haven't found the back of the net at all. E United's defense have been so good. They're still struggling. AJ has to go all the way to the corner to get boost. They need a goal right now. Certainly. Time ticking away, and there ain't a lot of it left. High against the back oh, wall. Miss. Huge miss from Rogue. They have to score with time left. That's what you're looking at if you're a Rogue fan. AJ, that touch out. Hoxer giving way for Ajax. One last chance for AJ to try to pitch it down, but it's hard to do with zero boost in the tank. Wonders touch goes nowhere. E United send Rogue home, and they continue their journey to Madrid. E United getting the win over Rogue. They lost to them in league play.